Here we have a projectile question that looks scary at first. It's a long question, but step by step we are going to solve it to see how easy it can be done. A ball is kicked from point O on horizontal ground with an initial velocity of 18 meters per second, an angle of 40 degree above horizontal. The ball just clears the top of a wall 15 meters away from point O. Show that the time taken for the ball to reach the wall is 1.09 seconds. Calculate the height of the wall. And the ball lands on the ground at point P. Find the total horizontal distance from O to P. Let's get started. When you read a question, pay attention to the numbers and information the question gives you. It says initial velocity of 18 meters per second. That's, we show it with U. The angle is 40 degree above horizontal. We usually show that with theta. And a 15 meters away from point O, which was horizontal distance. So X or SX is 15 meters. It's a projectile question. That means we are dealing with horizontal motion and vertical motion. In horizontal direction, we don't have any force. So it's a constant velocity. We can have the initial velocity component u cosine theta and the simple formula of x equal ux times t. But in vertical direction, the story is different. We have acceleration. So we are using the equations of motion and we have the initial velocity of ui, which is u sine theta. So we are going to use this information for these questions. Let's get back to horizontal. Our initial velocity is ux, which is u cosine theta. With the help of calculator, it's 13.79. And we have only one formula for horizontal, x equal ux times t. So how much was our distance horizontally? 15 meters. The distance we have, the initial velocity in x direction we have, easily we can find the time. And that's how part A is done. The time is 1.09 seconds for the ball to reach the wall. Now, for part B, they want the height of the wall. We have to go to the vertical equations. Height of the wall is vertical. We have the initial velocity u sine theta. Now, we can use the time that we had it before. So what do we have? We know the acceleration of gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared, but downward. So we have to put negative now. We have the time and we have the initial velocity in vertical direction, which is u sine theta and is 11.57 meters per second. So we look at our equations of motion. We choose the one that has time, acceleration, initial velocity, and can give us the displacement in vertical direction, which is the first one. So, use of the calculator, we got it. The height of the wall is about 6.78 meter. And there we go. Part B is done as well. The last part of the question, part C, is a tricky one. It says find the total horizontal distance from point O to the ground point P. What does that remind you of? That's right, is range. So we are going to find range in this question. If you have a good physics note and you remember the formula for range, you have an easy time now. Is 2 US squared sine theta cosine theta over G. We have all this information from the questions. So we use the calculator, we have the information, the range is 32.5 meter. But what if you forgot the formula of range and you don't remember it? There is still a way to solve this question, but it's a little longer. We are going to go back to our vertical and horizontal situation. The point is from point O, a starting point, and point P. Then you get back to the ground, your vertical displacement is zero. With this information, we can find the total time for the object starting point to the final point. So I choose my equation. I put the vertical displacement zero in it, a little mathematics, and I find the total time. In this situation is 2.36 seconds. 
now I have to go back to my horizontal equations, which was only one. X equal UX times T. The time here is 2.36. The initial velocity in X direction was 13.79. And here we go. We can find the range, which is 32.5 meters. We answer this long questions. I hope you liked it. And if you are still awake, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.